Well, um, federal ma mandates are a double-edged sword. On one hand, a lot of times the mandates are made in good spirit and, and what an ideal world would look like. The other edge is the reality of, of carrying out those mandates and the, the unnecessary burden it sometimes places on not just agriculture, but also our communities, our county governments. Um, and in many of the rural counties, um, the vast majority of, of the income of the county coffers comes from farmers and agribusiness folks. So mandates oftentimes put, put farmers at great risk for, for local tax burdens, land tax burdens, and, and those type of things that I'm sure you're all familiar with. So as the government makes mandates, you know, it, it's, it's real nice to have this great ideological idea, and, and I'm sure most of us think it's wonderful, but you've got to be pragmatic in your approach to it. Um, you can't put our farmers out of business um, through, through your policies. Um, it, it's just, and, and getting on to, um, to biofuels, uh, that's, that's a key thing for my district. Um, we have a lot of um, pork production and, um, and you know, other, pro other livestock production. Um, and some of these uh, waste lagoons, uh, there's ideas to cap them, use the uh, methane from them to, to produce energy to run the farm. Um, uh, maybe even have a little excess to sell back to the grid, but um, these things, if you ask the farmer to foot all the bill for it and mandate them to do it without helping them in the process, then, then you're doing more harm than good. Um, I, one has to understand that anytime we're talking about carbon emissions and environmentalism, that these ideas come from, from prosperous people. People who are poor are not worried about a tree and they're not worried about the animal down the road. So in, in, our, in our enthusiasm that, that we have for the environment, and, and, and I can't think of anyone who would be more concerned about climate change than a farmer because that creates even greater uncertainty in an uncertain market. Um, at the same time, it has to be a common sense approach. You, you, can't, you can't, you know, bite the hand to feed you. Uh, so biofuels, I think, are good. Some have concerned that that would um, raise the price of foods, and, and it probably would a little bit, but then at the same time, when, when we're asked to replace crops like tobacco who have high yields, uh, it, it's, it's not a bad idea that maybe we have a little inflationary um, thing on, on our food, other foodstuffs to help replace those crops. And so all of this is tied in together, and, it, and it's, it's a complicated situation, but, but you certainly have to um, get the feedback from the agricultural community before you make any type of decisions about mandate.